Hi! In this uh, video, I will guide you through the example 5 that is inside the DoZUI package, the animated button. All right, so I've just opened the example 5 scene and you can do that as well. If you go to Doozy, Examples, Scenes and double click E5 animated button landscape 2D. This means that it is recommended that you view this scene in landscape mode and in 2D mode so that you can see how it's done. I'm gonna start it. And this is the way you can create very complex buttons. Check it out. Believe it or not, these are the same buttons with different settings. And let's enter and see how it's done. It doesn't really have a graph controller, but to start some music. So it doesn't do anything really. This is the music. Yeah, I just heard it. And uh, let's also, I'm gonna bypass the music. So it doesn't drive you and me insane. All right, this just shows you how to add some music. That's it. And let's check out this bad boy. And this is the base button. And it's all done with animations, progressors, and UI buttons. And it's actually a button inside the button inside the button, something like that. So we have our main button and this is it. And when our pointer enters it, we are, you hear this? Yeah. And we use a progressor and set the progress to one. Let's check out the progressor. And this is the progressor. It won't work now because we are in, uh, in the editor and animators cannot be controlled in the editor, but only at runtime. And here we have a container and yeah, this is the plus button. So let me show you the first part. Actually, we have an animator and let's view the animation. Yeah. So this is the animation that you are seeing. Check it out. Button details. Yeah. So when we enter, when the mouse enters the buttons area, it sets this animation like so. And the, the, the progressor is the one that does that by controlling the progress target animator that in turn controls this animation. So yeah, you should watch the, you should watch the progress target animator video if you want to learn how this works and also the progressor video because they're all interconnected. After that, so we have that animation. We have another animation for this button and this button, let me show you, this is the animation. It contains two other UI buttons inside of it. And when uh, does it get played? Well, on pointer enter, that's it. So when the pointer enters, again, we set a progressor to one and that progressor is this one that controls this progress target animator that controls this animator that in turn controls this animation. So then you see this, yeah. And inside of it, we have a container with a color, whatever, and a horizontal layout that contains these two UI buttons. So you see, we have a big button that contains another button that contains two other buttons. So you can create very complex buttons with the system just by combining animations and progressors and then the progress target animators and so on. We made a prefab out of this and created a grid. And as you can see, we can change some of its settings. Let's make it, yeah, check it out. Let's make it like that. And yeah, something like that. Let's press play. So I've just changed the grid <laughs> and look how they look. Yeah, check it out. And of course these buttons can be set to do something, buy an item, update something, enable something and so on. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's how it's done. Just look at it and try to understand how it's how it's uh, interconnected, because we we also show some more advanced tutorials step by step how to create complex buttons like this one. But it is doable and it's really not that hard to create your own custom button with other buttons inside and so on. 
All right. Thank you.